Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Appreciate you tuning in as always and sharing in my collecting journey. I have a little bit of an update on the project for this past year in 2023 uh, to put a bow on it. And you can see here, I've got three pickups, but basically if you watch the channel, you know that my project was, okay, I'm going to focus, which is one of the great challenges of the hobby, on trying to buy a T206 card once a month. And I was successful in doing that. And so I wanna to show today, again, the last three cards that I picked up uh, for the year. So October, November, uh, and December. And now I'm thinking, do I do a video that recaps all 12 I got during 2023? Should I just do a big, massive kind of collection recap T206 video? I haven't done one in a few years. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see. Um, but it was a fun project and I think I'll keep it up for the next year, but I want to show you the card that came in in October and get started on these three because I just haven't given you an update. Um, I bought this one in October and I, I sort of tried as the year got to the second half to pick up Hall of Famers if I could. And this is Fred Clark of Pittsburgh, longtime Pittsburgh uh, player, great hitter, hit over 300 10 or 11 times, played alongside Hannes Wagner. But I just love the colors on this card. Um, a little bit of, you know, staining, of course. It's a tobacco card, right? Uh, it's a sweet cap back, 350. But just love the color on this one and, and holding the bat. I just think it's a very cool card. So it's in a PSA holder, and PSA thought it was a VG plus 3.5. So... I was delighted to add this one to the collection. I didn't have a Fred Clark, and he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, he was also a manager for a long time for the Pirates after his playing career. And um, just a neat card. So that was the card I picked up in October. And I'll show you now Mr. November. Also a Hall of Famer, and I didn't have any of his cards. This is Clark Griffith, a.k.a. the Old Fox. He was a pitcher for a long time. Um, you know, a few, few things about pitching. He, you know, um, was famous for doctoring the ball a bit. Um, had a great screwball, and then later, I guess, worked towards reform of those things. But then he became a longtime manager, and had a great record as a manager and was one of the innovators of kind of using the bullpen in relief as a as a kind of strategy and and so on from from what i understand from some of the books but um, anyway this is clark griffith really neat portrait i've always preferred the portraits i think in my t206 collection um, and so i always kind of lean that way but this is an SGC holder, and I don't mind, by the way, those of you who know this part of the channel in my collection, I don't mind a so-called Frankenstein collection. I've got some SGC holders. I've got some um, PSA holders. That, that doesn't bother me too much. Uh, but this was an SGC 3 for Clark Griffith in the portrait. And again, this was, as you saw on the back, this is one of those authenticity guaranteed void if damaged um, cards that comes in a fancy box from eBay. I don't mind it so much. It really takes me about a week longer to get my card because of the authentication. And I don't like the bag they put it in. I actually may end up going through these and gasp, um, open up the authenticity guarantee void if damaged because these are staying in my PC. So I'd rather get it in a bag that fits a little tighter on the holder. So that is the Clark Griffith and um, really like having that card so that was another hall of famer there and then the last card was the last card of the year so this was the december card that i picked up and you know sometimes in the hobby we pick up a card that in the moment we think is a great card maybe we look at the pictures online and it looks pretty decent and then it shows up and and maybe some of you have had this experience you know let me know you're just kind of like ah, neat card but don't love it so this is 
Also, of course, a T206 from 1910. This is a Piedmont, Dan Moeller. And Jersey City got some, you know, staining there. What I don't love about it is just there's not great registration um, to me on this card. This card just doesn't speak to me as much. Now, SGC graded it a 3.5, which is a good grade for uh, a tobacco card. And that's kind of my sweet spot for collecting. And then here's the back. It's got some wear on it as well. But this was just one of those cards that showed up and I looked at it and it just didn't spark the joy that, you know, the Clark Griffith or the Fred Clark sparked. Of course, it's a common, so that is part of the situation too. But nevertheless, uh, I'm going to have to think about whether or not I will actually keep this. So this was my December pickup and I kept to my mission but I may turn around and list this one and see if I can put those funds towards maybe a bigger card or a Hall of Famer or something like that. Um, plus, this is in an old flip, and I do, for my collection, if I have SGC holders, I like to have the current um, flip. So that's the situation with the Muller. I was happy to get it. Uh, it rounded out my 12 cards for the year and got my uh, collection to grow a bit. Um, but it was one of those cards that I sort of bought and, and just kind of wasn't as excited as I, as I could have been. See also too how the print here on that red on that side is beyond the line. It just, it's just not a great quality printing of this particular example. And again, looked a little better online and I think that's okay. And I think, you know, as collectors, sometimes we have to so to say, does this does this card do it for me? And maybe this card doesn't do it for me. And that's just a, a, a me thing. And you got to be happy with your collection. So anyway, that's where we are. I got uh, three cards, three T206, T206 cards that rounded out the uh, collection. And I did it. I set a goal. I stuck to it. I was diligent. I kept a note on my phone and just kind of made a reminder to myself, okay, here's the card I bought for February. Oh, I haven't gotten a card yet in March. And then I bought maybe a couple. And I was like, okay, well, I'm good through April. Uh, and then came May and so on and so on. So it was kind of a fun project and it really helped me stay disciplined, stay focused in my collecting and uh, continue to build my T206 collection. So I really appreciate you watching. Um, I'll see you uh, on the next video. And again, let me know if you think I should do a 2023 T206 year in review and I'll show all the cards that I picked up over the year, including these three. Or if I should go back and show my whole T206 collection, which now I think is about... 55 cards or so. That might be a pretty big video. Maybe I'll do both. Let me know. All right. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.